Hello, it's been so long since my last video. When I first got diagnosed with breast cancer, I was all like, you know, I'm gonna send the world on this journey with me. I'm taking everybody along, especially women that could relate, that also had the unfortunate diagnosis um, of breast cancer. And it started off strong, which I usually do with a lot of uh, projects. I start off strong and then my attention kind of wavers and I usually don't end up finishing things. Well, as y'all can see, I got my natural hair showing now. It's coming back in on me gray. Um, but you know, it's all right. Um, I haven't wore a wig in many, many months. Wigs were my thing even pre-diagnosis. And it wasn't because I was bald. It was just because you had, you know, so much variety out there. You don't want to have, listen, I grew up with the same fucking hairdo. Sorry. I grew up with the same hairdo um, just all throughout life. My mom was the Shirley Temple Curl queen and she still holds the title. That is her favorite hairdo for herself. And of course for her girls, it was the same. Me and my sister always had Shirley Temple Curls. Um, and if I didn't have that, I was always wearing a ponytail. Or if I didn't have that going on, you know, I had a little doobie wrap going on and I just comb it on down. I was known for that style um, in my late teens, early 20s, mid 20s, late 20s. That was my hairdo. And then, you know, I just got introduced to wigs and I loved them. Um, so that was really my thing. And then when chemo took my hair, it was kind of like wigs were the obvious choice, right? But then um, I had the hot flashes because I was thrown into early menopause. So I couldn't really do the wigs, you know, because like I love a bang. As you can see, my forehead, it's not the smallest of foreheads. So I usually love a bang or I love a swoop, a nice swoop. Never hurt nobody with a larger forehead. So, you know, I did what I could do on the wig tip. And then when I was having those hot flashes, I just couldn't, I couldn't take it. You know, it was time to let it go. Um, so honestly, I've been wearing my hair just naturally as it's growing back for a couple of months now. I haven't dealt with the wigs at all, even though some may say that I need it. I don't think I do. Um, but, oh yes, good news on the hot flashes. Nada. They have ended. It's been only maybe about three weeks now, but hot flashes are gone. The early menopause that I was thrown into, I was told that I had like a 40% chance of hopping back out of it because of my age. I'm only 35. So, um, I've now hopped back out of that. It's only been like a, yeah, like I said, maybe three weeks. Not more than four, I don't think, since I haven't had a hot flash. Let's give that a round of applause. All around the world applause. So it's been that long since a hot flash. Um, Aunt Flo came back and I was happy. I'm like, girl, come on, let's ride for the week because I'm glad to see you, girl. It's, it's been too long. I hadn't been feeling like myself physically. It was just, oh. Um, so I promised a lot of stuff. Um, as far as video wise, I know one time I promised that I was going to do a whole video about just like the psychological piece or aspect of, um, you know, breast cancer and the treatments, but I never really got around to that. But I can say for me, psychologically, the treatment was a hell of a doozy. Um, I think I already mentioned before that I had to go on anti-anxiety meds, uh, cause my mind just couldn't wrap around everything. The whole, not so much the diagnosis, but definitely the treatment, like the ill effects of the treatment. Um, I've come a long way. 2017 has not been the best of years for me due to this diagnosis and the, uh, you know, and the subsequent treatment. Um, I had four months off of work from July to October and honestly that sounds really nice. I know a lot of people would like time off of work but most of those days I was in the bed like literally just in the bed. Um, 
no ambitions, no desire to get up, no desire to do anything but lie in the bed. Um, so that happened. Um, what else did we do here? I think this is just about it. That's all I really have to give to y'all. I just wanted to give a little small update. Oh yes, my next surgery, which is to swap out the expanders for the actual implants and do a little fat grafting to make the implants look nice and natural and beautiful. Um, that's going to be on the 18th of December. So one week away from Christmas. I will once again be put to sleep. Yet another surgery. So 2017 has been full of surgeries and full of foreign material being injected into my body. But I'm already claiming it. 2018 is going to be much better. I've learned a lot through 2017. Um, some stuff I just wish that I didn't know. That I never had to be forced to know. But I know it and um, I'm going to keep it in my memory bank. Uh... I hope that I do another video before Christmas actually arrives, but if I don't, I just want to send now my Merry Christmas wishes and blessings to everyone that's watching. Um, and that about does it. Thanks for looking at this video. Till next time, guys.